This clip is brought to you by BattleOnline.com. You know, sometimes shit just gotta go down. Eminem, you swung first. <laughs> Death Row Milk Bone, niggas swinging next. This is presenting Milk Bone. Watch your ass, boy. Hi, your name is what? Slim Shady since you acting like a baby. Then I guess without no baby since you do sound. Milk Bone, back to the bone. Where the party at? Where the Bacardi at? I'm Dre gave you a couple dollars and you a fiend, so why you counting? I've been known to murder Mike, so make a move like your mama. There was an artist introduced called Milk Bone. Was he like a replica to, you know, take Eminem's spot? And there was some incident with Eminem at the Source Awards or something. Yeah, I mean, M, M you got to remember, is, is a cool dude. He's a comedian. He ain't that out there trying to be no gay banger or no, you know, no tough guy or anything. You know, this man thought my killing this, riding around with his mama, with his baby mama in the car dead and, and killing his, his mama and stuff. And, and all of that, so or mom on drugs or whatever, I don't know. But I'm just a comedian, being funny. And so there was incidents, but sometimes when you you get you get attacked for who you're associated with. And that's all that happened with him. He was just associated with Dre now. The tag was on now, and he got associated with them. Other than that, him was considered a great artist to us. And Milkbone was never brought in as like somebody to drive with Eminem. We tried some things that backfired on us. I call them the gimmick artists. They get mad when I'm talking about him. Uh, you know, the Milkbone, my boy, the realist, Tupac, and then my boy, uh, Top Dog, YGD, has, has been a, a snoop. Uh, the, the, the correct word is gimmick. Uh, but nobody likes that word, and they get offended, and they probably pissed at me about it, but that's what it was. And I'm saying that it was unfortunate that we tried that with them because they were great artists in their own mind and probably would have been successful if we would have just let them be who they were. Mm. Whether they got a shot or not with Death Row, that's another thing. Because uh, they probably wouldn't have got the position or, or got the shine that they got. But they got the opportunity. The public said no. And when the, the, the public speaks. It's, I know you it's of the catch-22. I mean, with the realist, we do hear a lot of stories where people say that he was around just before Park had passed and he was sort of given the clearance. Sort of. What I always found interesting about the realist was so many of Pac's affiliate affiliates all did work with him and stuff like the Outlaws. They had, a, you know, many tracks with him, Yuck Mouth, many tracks with him and all these guys. So it was like nobody seemed to have a problem musically doing stuff with him, if that makes sense. You got you to gotta put timetables on that. Got to put timetables on that. Because you didn't see that in 99, 2000 and all that. All of this is later because he's a cool dude. And yeah, they eventually yeah. grew on people. But in 98, 99, 2000, it was a hard sell to people. Okay. Peace, family. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And check us out on BoutTheOnline.com. Check us out on Facebook for exclusive playlists and social media for all different types of segments and content.